Okay, so we just got a couple of intermittent defects. So got some granulation tissue out of the defect there. And it comes out in a big, nice piece like that if you take the 15 and degranulate or just kind of remove some of the degranulation tissue with the 15 first. So what we're going to do is we're going to pack a little gauze in there and then we'll be able to see the defects a little bit better. We've got about a five millimeter defect on the distal. And just a little bit of tissue right there. Close to the same on the mesial. Okay, so we just place a little bit of bone in there. That's okay. Okay, so we're gonna go interproximal. So what we want, we only need about a piece that big. Let's see, there's one. And there's two. That's gonna be about all that we need. Okay, so this is usually the most tricky part. So we're just going in with this nice and dry. And usually we're just gonna try to get it in there a little bit. I like to take a tunneling instrument and we'll just push it through. And you can see it going in one side and coming out the other. Let's see, so let me just take that on the inside here. Okay, so you can see on the, on the inside it's folded upon itself, which is fine. Actually, I don't mind if that happens because now I got a double layer. And so we just get it in there a little bit like that. advance that through and as that hydrates it just makes it a little easier to manipulate we got one barrier here one barrier here you see them hydrating and we're ready to suture So the one thing you just got to be careful with, with suturing, is not to pick up the membrane. So the easiest way to do that is to go through backwards. Use some corn forceps to manipulate your flap. And the nice thing with the bio exclude is if you do have any exposure during healing, like in the coal area, it's okay because this can become exposed and heal just fine. <laughs> 